Hi everyone, welcome back to Den and Vixen. It's good to see everyone. I actually took a little bit of an unplanned hiatus for the summer. We took um, three big trips and then I did a little un an unscheduled um, little trip by myself. And then I ended up having to haul my kids around to wherever they needed to be, camp, swim team, swim meets. So needless to say, I kind of um, wasn't able to keep up with a regular filming schedule. So yesterday was the very first day of school, which is um, kind of a bittersweet day. Um, you know, it's nice to get the kids back in school, but it makes you kind of sad because they're not little anymore. They're growing up and, you know, if you're a mom, you know what it's like to have those kids when they're baby babies and to watch them grow up is exciting, yet you still want to keep them small. But anyway, needless to say, they started school. Um, they were kind of driving me a little crazy, so that's, I guess, part of the bittersweet thing. But um, I'm now able to start filming on a regular schedule again, or, or just more regularly, I should say. I never really had a schedule, and um, I have lots of really, really good ideas. So I have done a collective shopping haul with beauty and fashion, and I can't wait to show you some of the great finds that I um, found over the summer. I'm gonna start with the beauty items. And so I'm trying to really cut back. Now, I, I said I went on a trip uh, actually a few trips this summer the last one was um, just me I went for a little three-day weekend to Atlanta to visit a girlfriend and um, I realized I packed everything I needed in one suitcase because I did not feel like having to check a bag and so I just reduced everything usually when I pack I know I'm gonna have to pack for me and the kids so I take a big suitcase and I put everything in it and I don't bother transferring things to smaller bottles or um, whatever I just go with it but this time I really made a conscious effort to put everything in the little you know in the in the quart size bag and did a little hairspray, a little shampoo, a little, little everything. And um, I realized, I just really realized how little you actually need in life, which made me think I could possibly be a hoarder. And now I know that my husband will tell you that I am a hoarder. I'm not. Um, I may have hoarder tendencies, yet I am going to really, really try to reduce what I have and try to live on less. And hopefully, you then will not see me on regular TV on a show like Hoarders or Hoarder, Hoarding Buried Alive. I'm really going to try to keep it reduced. I'm going to try to buy less, but make what I buy count more. So here are a couple things that I did pick up because I just couldn't resist. Um, I just couldn't resist. So my very first thing that I wanted to share with you was I kind of felt like um, my hair... I, you know, I'm just getting more and more gray hairs as I get older, and I'm having to touch up the roots a lot more often. And I kind of feel like even though I, um, every now and then I bring, I'll always just do the roots, and every now and then I'll bring the color through my hair, I sometimes I feel like it's still kind of dull. And I don't know if that's just because I've been coloring my hair more often, or if it's because I'm just getting older and gray hair just does that. But one of my friends suggested, even though I absolutely love my color silk that I've talked about in a previous video, one of my friends suggested that I try this Healthy Look Cream Gloss. So I went ahead and bought this, and I got the Darkest Brown. And this is a non-permanent hair color. This is, um, yeah, Darkest Brown number three Espresso. And it's supposed to last through 28 shampoos. Now, I do recall that if you have hair that is just a little porous, which most people do, especially if you've been coloring your hair or have any sort of damage, if you do, you know, heat styling, whatever, that even though it says it is non-permanent, that sometimes, or I should say, yeah, it says non-permanent. I was gonna say semi-permanent, a non-permanent, hair color, it, sometimes the color will still absorb and so it will last a little longer than the 28 shampoos. So I'm really excited to try this. I am gonna um, try this probably either later today or tomorrow and I'll let you know how I like it. Now the next item that I just had to have was I saw Miss Gold Girl 
she did a video on these elf prism eyeshadows now I don't need any more eyeshadow but I saw her video and I couldn't resist buying these they were ten dollars at Target but I actually think I just bought mine on Amazon they're ten dollars on Amazon I have prime free shipping so hey I didn't even have to go to a store and um, yes these are the colors and I just um, couldn't resist. I decided to try something a little different today. I'm filming out on my patio. So we might get a little extra noise in the background, like a plane flying over or I don't know, some construction, something going on around the corner. There might be a little bit of a breeze blowing my hair around, but oh well, it's such a pretty day. I thought the lighting would be good. So we'll see how it goes when I finish editing this. Let's see if I will be doing this on a more regular basis. I don't know. It's kind of fun to mix it up. But um, anyway, so I'm still on the quest for the perfect mascara. When I was visiting my girlfriend in Atlanta, she said she swears by this. It's called the CoverGirl Curvaceous, like bombshell curvaceous by lash blast she loved it because it's a two-part as you can see there's a one a one and a two actually that's upside down and a two two-part system so basically you go through and you use this first and this basically gives you color it curls your lashes and you can do as many coats as you want with that and then you go through with your second part you see the brushes on the center part and this is the thicker brush and it basically sets the curl so I will just tell you this when I first tried it I wasn't super crazy about it but as we all know mascara needs to be used about I don't know three or four times before it actually starts working the way you want to. I don't know if it's because you just have to get start getting that mascara on the brush or not, but um, definitely um, I do like it. The only thing that I'm not super crazy about is it's hard to remove. So it's definitely not one of those mascaras that just washes off with soap and water or makeup cleanser. You have to use a um, makeup remover or like an oil-based um, makeup remover to remove it. And it does come off kind of weird. Now, I have not tried the L'Oreal, um, I don't remember which one it is, but it's the two-part um, system. I'll look it up and I'll put it down here. And um, there's one that has the tubes in it, and I'm thinking this might be comparable to it. And when I was reading the reviews on it, the people were saying that it felt like plastic tubes were coming off your lashes. It was kind of a weird sensation when you're... Um, taking your mascara off and I will say this may be similar because I noticed that to remove it you do kind of have to pull it like this and it does kind of come off in like plastic tubes so I'm going to try the other one too and I'm going to compare them and I'll let you know how I like it but um, so far I do like this it does seem to um, give me a little fullness can you see I don't want to scare you too much but you can kind of see maybe 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 not how that looks on but it's a nice mascara so I, I wanted to um, share that with you. And then last but not least, I finally um, broke down and bought the Rafisa from Brianna Stenko. Um, you probably already know who she is. She does videos and she really, really loves this. And so many of the other YouTube um, people love Rafisa. And I do too. I have been using the Bright Next and I think that I may have found a replacement. I'd say the price is comparable to Bright Next. I paid $90 for this tube, so I'd say it's kind of a higher end product. Um, but um, the Bright Next is really expensive too. I wanna say it's over $100, but it lasts a long time. And I'm thinking this is gonna last a while. And there is a little bit of a bigger tube you can buy. So, um, so far I'm loving it. It's um, not making my face peel, so I don't know if maybe, maybe if it's not making my face peel, either I have tough skin or uh, maybe it's not working. But so far I wake up, I seem to, um, my skin feels soft and it doesn't dry it out, which I think is a really good thing. But I'm gonna keep using this and then I'll let you know how I like this too. If you've tried it, let me know. Feel free to leave a comment and tell me what you think about the Rafisa. 
because I so far like it. If you know me, you know I love the thrift stores. I've kind of gotten to where I have stopped shopping at regular stores because I find so many great deals in thrift stores. I have an eBay store where I buy um, gently used designer jeans. So if you're interested in finding some great deals on gently used designer jeans, um, check out my store. I'll link that below as well. But also, when I'm out shopping looking for stuff to resell in my store, I always find fabulous stuff for me. I can't resist. See, there goes one of those planes I was talking about. <laughs> Living at the beach, there's always a, a plane that goes by. But I found some really neat things. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I found that I absolutely love and I have to share. Now, a new store is actually not really a new store, but it's um, a store. They just opened up a branch here in um, my area. It's called Savers. And I found these adorable coach shoes. I don't know if coach are still in style, but I thought these were so cute and they were practically brand new. I only paid $25 for these shoes, which I think is a really, really good deal. I don't know how much they normally cost um, if you were just to go to the store, the coach store and buy them full price. But as we know, I don't pay full price. Um, but I thought $25 was a great deal and they were really comfortable. I probably wouldn't have bought them, but when I tried them on, I realized that they were really, really comfortable and um, I just couldn't resist them. Probably goes back to my hoarder mentality, but oh, and I wow. found these adorable Sam Edelman Gladiator type sandals. I thought they were so cute, and they've got the zipper up the back, so they're easy on, easy off. This heel is a little high for me, but um, they were comfortable. When I tried them on, they were really comfortable. Like, I didn't feel like um, they were too high, like I was walking on my tiptoes, which sometimes I do that when I um, have heels, I feel like I'm walking on my tiptoes, and it it's just not comfortable. But I thought these were really cute. I want to say I paid $13 for these. These were practically brand new. I love them. And um, I just think they're really cute. They'll look really good with a dress. It'll look good. They'll look good with jeans. I just, I couldn't resist. I had to get them. And that, I will have to stop buying shoes after this because I have way too many. Imelda Marcos and I would have probably gotten along really, really well as far as um, shoe shopping goes, other than she would buy hers full price at the whatever designer shoe store and I buy probably these are probably hers <laughs> just kidding um <laughs> and I buy mine used okay so I had to back that up just a little bit because I wanted to be able to show you some of these things without having to stand up so after I did the shoe shopping I found this adorable sundress which I thought was so cute in fact it still has the tags on it it's got kind of a look at the bottom it's kind of um I don't know what you call it, kind of like a scarfy type bottom. It starts to get cold around November, December, January. Um, and when I say cold, it's about 60 degrees, which cold is all relative, but we do get to actually pull out our sweaters and boots every now and then. And sometimes we just pull them out anyway and just burn up. But, um, but I have to say that it does get a little chilly sometimes. But I'm excited because I can still wear this, even though um, it's starting to um, go into fall here. And then I think I bought this at a different thrift store, but this is a Free People shirt. I love the blush pink. It's linen. It's big and blousey. And it's got the lace top. So this is going to be really cute, too. And then back to Savers, I found this adorable lace dress which I absolutely love, but I will probably wear this as a top. I'll probably belt it, and I think that would be really cute with a belt, um, or wear it as like a swimsuit cover-up, but I absolutely loved it. And I wanna say, oh, this was probably a little more on the expensive side for me. This was $10 at Savers, but I thought it was absolutely adorable. I cannot wait to wear that. Oh, and this, I couldn't resist, because I just don't have enough T-shirts. But this one was so cute. I just loved it because it has this cute pink cat on it. And it says bad cat. And I love the lace. It's got the lace on the sides. So it kind of stretches out. And then the back. I mean, look at this kitty. She's got a little rhinestone um, necklace on. And then the back says, what does it say? I am alone. This is a little boho which I thought was cute. It's just kind of a tunic type top. And it's got these big arms. 
super cute can't wait to wear that I think that'll look really good with a pair of jeans or might even look really good with these um, like these shoes oh and then oh and this was so cute too I love it's kind of more on the boat it's kind of on the boho chic style too and this is just it's a BB top it's a sheer um, what do you call this like a chiffon type oh and it, apparently it was made in France which is even better <laughs> a French shirt but it's got the big sleeves this adorable um, leopard print cashmere sweater and then last but not least I actually bought a lot more stuff but I couldn't show all of it to you because this video would then be really 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 long and um, I didn't want to bore you my first time back after my hiatus but I thought this was adorable back to the leopard print this is a leopard print jewelry case I absolutely loved it I'm not gonna blind you with the mirror but you can see there's a place in there for all of your rings and those drawers that pull out you can slide stuff in I desperately need this because the jewelry box that I have I've had since I was like oh I want to say 12 years old and I really really want to get rid of it but then I kind of feel like oh it's kind of sentimental because my mom gave it to me when I was a little girl but it really has kind of run its course and it might be time to get rid of it and it's not like it was this major antique jewelry box I think she just got it at Target or someplace like that. another thing that was really neat that came in this box was it had a little travel box so how cute is that you can put all your stuff in there and pop it in a suitcase for your next trip. So that's what I've got this week for my collective summer haul. I actually have a lot more. Oop, there goes another plane. But I just didn't want to make this video too, too, too long. So I may do another video showing you some more things. Let me know if you want to see more. I do have a lot that I picked up, but I'm also going to be working a lot. I have a lot of new uh, merchandise to put in my eBay store. So I'm really, really excited. So if you are in the market for some jeans, be sure to check that out because um, I've got all sizes all shapes, all styles, all prices. And um, if you're ever looking to find some great stuff, don't be afraid of the thrift stores. There's so many neat things. As you can see, I found some great stuff and a lot of it is brand, brand new. So um, I hope you enjoyed my haul. I hope you enjoyed my video. I'll be back really soon. I have lots more time on my hands now that the kids are in school and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.